Hey, what's up you guys? I am hanging out here with The Cab on Warp Tour 2010. Could I have you personally introduce yourself to our viewers? My name is Alex DeLeo and I sing for The Cab. All right. I like the look, by the way. Do you always wear the hat? Uh, on this tour, I've been wearing the hat a lot. It keeps my hair out of my face because I have long curly hair. And you think, think it would be, be hotter. Yeah, exactly, you think it would yeah. be hotter, and it is hot, but it, it just kind of pulls it all back and it doesn't get in my face, just keeps it out of the way. Yeah, man. Well, good, good strategy there. What's the most embarrassing thing on your iPod? My iPod will be Frank Sinatra to Lady Antebellum to Doug Justin Bieber. I don't even care. <laughs> Very proud to say what I listen to. Oh, so you're a Justin Bieber fan, huh? He's a talented kid, man. That like, if you watch his YouTube videos from you know before he was like the phenomenon, when he was like an, a seven-year-old kid singing like neo covers, pretty insane. What are some of the biggest challenges of being on the road at such a young age? I mean, we're both young guys. It's got to be tough. I have a eight-year-old sister. I mean, an eight-year-old brother, a nine-year-old sister, and a ten-year-old brother, and a sixteen-year-old sister. So being away from them, it's tough. You know, I, sometimes I only see them a few times a year. And um, being that age, you know, like my sister being like eight years old, it's like I leave and I come back and she's like, you know, grown like four or five inches and she's like just growing up. And um, I miss a lot of that. You know, you miss your family, you miss your friends and you, you know, you miss being normal. But at the same time, like people would, would kill for this. You know, like this is, this is like dream, it's like dream come true. It doesn't get much better than like being like, like a pro sports athlete and then there's like the the rock star and then there's you know like i don't know president of the united states you know what i mean those are like the cool jobs what's your favorite part about this um just being able to see the world you know like it's my job to go play music in japan and in new york and la and uk you know it's, it's cool it's really good you pinch yourself yeah it's awesome i wake up and just hope you know you have to just really take it in and and live it while you can because it could end you know tomorrow what's your scariest fan experience a uh, fan baked us a cake with her blood in it once which is um that was very very weird she told you this yeah she baked it to us and she said that you know i baked my blood into this you know so i could like, be feel close yeah be a part of you feel closer to you guys and and what did you say kind of said thanks and then walked away and then immediately threw into the first garbage can i saw wow yeah not to be mean, I'm sure it was a delicious That's cake, sort of but strange, dude. it's like the whole Twilight <laughs> phenomenon just goes way too far. You ever heard any funny rumors about yourselves? The thing is, they come up with like these elaborate stories, like with details, you know what I mean? Like, um, there's this rumor that my friend sent to me, and it was like, I was backstage at Taylor Swift's concert, and she was talking to like her management, and like I went up to her and like poked her on the shoulder and was like, hey Taylor, like, do you want to go get like fish and chips like you know like to the to meal you know with me later and i was like that didn't happen actually you sort of may, sort of wish it did maybe yeah I, I definitely wish it happened give me your best tour story we got to go to the vmas um kind of in between a tour and that was just it was crazy because i was like 17 i wasn't even 18 yet i was i was still i was like right out of high school i drank a lot <laughs> and i was 17 i didn't drink much and so like two vodka cranberries i was done and um, I, I got all these pictures that I barely remember taking. Like I have a picture with um, Lil Wayne, and he's got like a mysterious like white substance like in his nose, and it's, it's pretty funny. Like I just have some, not like, too mysterious, hangover, huh? Hangover like pictures that I don't even like. I have like a picture with um, with Dave Grohl like with his arm around me like putting a shot in my mouth. Lame McNerd on Twitter slash YouTube would like to know: Did you guys consider any other names besides the Cab? Any funny ones, maybe? No, that was actually the Cab was like a placeholder. We didn't. We didn't really have a name, and my friend said the cab, and we used it because it was like short and simple, and people weren't gonna like judge us by our name. But we always plan on changing it, you know, like when it if we ever got you know serious, and we just never did because it kind of just stuck. Sam's a hippie on YouTube slash Twitter, Sam's so I guess Sam is a hippie. Okay. Would like to know what's one thing you hate about yourself? I don't like trying new things. I guess like I I'm really bad with food. Like I won't eat if it even if it looks gross. Like I've never tried sushi. I've never like anything weird. I just don't even try. Uh, I just got over my fear of roller coasters. I just hate trying things that are like a little weird. When I'd probably live, you can get on stage in front of. I'd probably live a lot fuller of a life if I just like. Would try stuff. Yeah. Well, you're not try. afraid to get on stage. No. Uh, I mean, I get nervous sometimes, but I've done it, you know, so much that it's kind of like it's fun. Worst thing that's ever happened to you on stage? I've said. Um, okay, here's what I did. This is pretty bad. I was in Vegas. We were playing the Red Rock Hotel. And it was a casino, so they paid us like a bunch, you know, a bunch of money compared to what we normally make, you know, for a show because it's a huge casino. And the night before, I partied at the Hard Rock Hotel. So when I was on stage, I said, you know, what's up? 
everyone at the Hard Rock, and I was at the Red Rock, which is their like direct competitor. <laughs> and I just remember like everyone in my band just looking at me, like simultaneously, and I was just like, oh my god, like what do you do it? You know what I mean? Like what do you? That's like playing a McDonald's convention and like saying like you know, yay Taco Bell. You know, what's up Taco Bell? Were they mad though? Like, did you see them get mad at you? Uh, well. The main, the main girl I know was like laughed about it, like she thought it was funny. But a lot of the other people were kind of like, you could tell, like, they th I think they thought it did it on purpose to be like a smartass when really it was just an honest mistake. Well, hanging out here with the cab, warp sewer. We are obviously both really tired, so we're gonna go take a nap. Sounds good. All I'm right, gonna dude. go play in a little bit. Oh, <laughs> well, he has to play first. Then he's gonna take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And I'm gonna take a nap right now. So, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, man. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. We are backstage with Slipknot. I am here with my good friend, the American Idol, Chris Allen. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and show you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? no. Maybe that wasn't you? Uh, Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. What do you like about Katy Perry? Everything. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. Huge meaning or self-defining sort of thing. I think we just lost one of our interviews. Rate, comment, and subscribe for new videos every week. Reporting for YouTube. I'm Brian O'Dell. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.